Hello! In our previous video, we looked at how to rip songs from an audio CD, that is, copying the songs from the CD to our computer. In this video, we're going to look at how to do the opposite, take songs that are on our computer and put them onto an audio CD. Alright, so again, like we did last time, we're going to use Windows Media Player to perform this task, and uh, this program should be on any Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer. So the first step is to open up Windows Media Player. So this is Windows 8. Uh, you can just go to the Start screen and start typing in Windows Media Player to find it. If you're in Windows 7, then you'll have a Start menu, which has a search bar. You can use that. OK, so here we have Windows Media Player. Uh, you'll see that over here, there's three tabs, Play, Burn, and Sync. What we're going to do this time is burn. Um, so what that does, bur burning songs to a CD means copying songs from your computer to the CD, or just writing songs to the CD. So we want the burn tab. Okay, so once we have that selected, now we have to put in a blank CD. Now, this part is important. Uh, the CD that you use, or the disc that you use, has to be CDR. You don't want it to be a DVD and you don't want it to be CD rewritable or CDRW. It should say CDR on it. Okay, so now that we have Windows Media Player and open and we have a CDR, we go ahead and put that in the computer. Okay, so I've put my blank CDR into the computer and it's ready for us to burn songs to the, to the CD. So now we have to locate the songs that we want to put on there. All right. So here I have a group of songs that I want to put on my CD. So I just highlight them all, drag them over to the burn list, and it has a list of songs to burn to the CD. Now up here, it shows you how much time of the CD uh, you've used. It's approximately 80 minutes of music that can be burned to a, an audio CD. And it says I've used all but 4 minutes and 19 seconds of it. So I'm uh, within the amount of space right now. If you put too much on here, then it'll show that you've put too many songs on there. And then you have to choose which ones to put on your audio CD. Alright, so now that we've done this, we're ready to burn the CD, but first there's one other thing that we want to do. We want to make sure that we have a couple of options selected correctly. Um, we can make a CD that's either an audio CD or a data CD or DVD. Okay? So if you make it a data CD, then you'll pretty much only be able to um, use this CD on a computer or a special CD player that can read um, data CDs but we want it to be able to play on any CD player so we're going to choose audio CD okay so now that we're sure that it's going to make an audio CD the other thing that we may want to do is set the name of the disk so I do that here and I'm just going to put the artist and album name okay so now I have everything set up. I've put in the blank CD. I've selected all the songs that we want to burn to the CD. I made sure that it's actually going to make an audio CD, not a data CD. And I set the name for the disk. Now we can do start burn. And it's going to go ahead and write all of these songs to the CD. So this is probably going to take about 10 minutes to complete. I'm not going to uh, make you wait for the entire process to complete. But um, when this is done, it should um, automatically eject the disk. If it doesn't do that, it'll at least give you a message saying that it's completed uh, burning the songs to the CD. All right? And that's how you use Windows Media Player to copy songs from your computer to an audio CD. One thing to mention real quick before I close this up is that my um, uh, files here are all WAV files. 
um, and that's the preferred way to store uh, music if you don't want to lose any of the sound quality. MP3s are smaller files, um, but to me they sound just about as good as a, as a WAV file. But if you have MP3 files instead, you can also burn those uh, songs to a CD. So don't worry if you um, you have MP3 files if that's all you have to burn to the CD. But just know that um, if you have a choice of what to start off with, WAV files or MP3 files, uh, WAV files retain all of the sound quality uh, of the original. And um, MP3s are pretty good, but they uh, are a little bit less quality. Alright, so that's everything.